Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be diving into one of the coolest features in Tract, group booking. If you're running a salon, a gym, or any kind of service business, this feature is a game changer for managing your appointments and making life easier for your customers. We'll walk you through how to set it up and share some handy tips to get the most out of it. My name is Alexander, let's dive in. The first thing you need to do is check whether the group booking feature has been enabled in Tract. Access, features and integrations, scroll down to the booking section and enable it if it's disabled or simply click on setup if it's already enabled. The setup pop-up includes a single slider. If the slider is enabled, it will allow multiple customers to book the same time slot until the service's maximum capacity is reached. If you also define the minimum capacity to be above one, all bookings below minimum capacity will stay in the pending status until the minimum is reached. If, on the other hand, you disable this slider, it will represent a private booking. This still allows your customers to book for multiple people, but it will restrict bookings below minimum capacity. Once a customer books an appointment for a number of people between the minimum and the maximum capacity, the time slot becomes unavailable to others. So, even though there still may be a few spots left, a private booking will block the time slot for those remaining slots. I'll show you the public booking first, and then we'll jump back and go through the private booking. Once group booking is enabled, you need to check your services. So click on these three dots and click on edit service. Under settings, once you scroll down all the way, you will find the enable group booking slider. Let's assume that a group booking appointment such as a yoga class is financially unfeasible if fewer than five people book it, especially since the venue has a maximum capacity of 15 people. Therefore, we'll set the minimum capacity at five and the maximum at 15. Once you do this, a couple of new checkboxes appear. The first one allows the customers to choose the number of people when booking the appointment. So in this case, if I want to book an appointment for myself and a few of my friends, this needs to be enabled. The slider below it, however, applies the price to each individual person. So if the price of an appointment is $10 per person, booking for five people will cost $50. Now, when we save the changes, we get a prompt that asks us, do you want to update this for existing employees for all employees or all employees except the ones with custom values. I will show you this in a minute. But first, we'll update this for all employees and show you how it looks like on the booking website. The group coaching session automatically displays the capacity between five and 15. So if we start booking, we will choose the office, which is just the name of the location, and we'll choose John Doe as our instructor. Now. If I book just for me, I will book an appointment in the pending status and it will remain in the pending status until the minimum is reached. So we're booking an appointment on November 5th at 2 p.m. That's it. Now let's check the appointments page. Here we go. The group coaching session for John Hancock at 2 p.m. is in the pending status. So now let's have another customer book for four people to reach the minimum capacity of this service. As you can see, the price updated and increased per number of people. Since John Doe is busy covering this particular appointment, all other time slots that you saw on the previous screen are now gone. Now the customer who is booking for four people is booking the same time slot. And that's it. Now let's check the appointments page again. As you can see, 
John Hancock is the first customer, so all other customers who perform the booking will appear as plus something. The appointment status also changed to approved since the minimum capacity of the service has been reached. If we click on the appointment, we'll be able to see John Hancock who's coming all by himself and Joan Doe who's bringing three additional people. This leaves 10 additional spots for the group coaching session on November 5th at 2 p.m. So let's see what our customers will see when they start booking over that capacity. If they choose an appointment for 11 people, November 5th will not be displayed. So the next available date will be presented to the customer. However, if they book for a total of 10 people or less, 5th becomes available again. So, once this customer books an appointment and we refresh the appointments page, we will see John plus 2 where Mark is bringing 9 additional people with him. This closes this time slot. So 15 total customers have booked this appointment and there is no way anyone else can book above it, at least from the front end. If you as an admin configured your admin role to allow booking over an existing appointment or outside of working hours, you'll be able to edit this appointment, Traft warns you that the maximum number of approved customer is exceeded, but it doesn't block you from saving this appointment. So now when you click on save, we'll be able to see John and Alex who are joining this appointment alone and Joan and Mark, which bring the total up to 16 people. Now, you're only able to do this as an administrator or a super administrator and only if you enabled these two sliders under settings, users and roles, role settings. Employees can have different settings. So the minimum and maximum capacity per employee can be different than the minimum and maximum capacity for the actual service. If we edit this employee and check out his assigned services, we will be able to change both the minimum and the maximum capacity. So let's say John is flexible and he finds it financially feasible to accept two people and he'll squeeze up to 20 people in the same venue. So when we save the changes and we go back to the front end, the capacity updates to show the lowest minimum capacity up to the highest maximum capacity. Now, since the employee's capacity has been changed, a new customer will be able to book the same time slot with John Doe. So again, a single person will be able to book the same appointment that we previously used to show you guys how group booking works. Now, back in features and integrations. When we disable this slider, we will have an option to book appointments between the minimum and the maximum capacity. But as soon as we book for a certain number of people, the booking will close. Let's quickly revert John's settings here and check the front end again. Here, a customer needs to select a number of people between 5 and 15. That's it. So let's say this customer is booking for 10 people. And again, we're switching to the next available date, which is November 12th. So November 12th at noon. That's it. Back in the appointment section, we can see Mike Peters, who booked for a total of 10 people. So Mike plus nine people. And this appointment is automatically approved since the minimum has been reached. 
but if we try to book the same time slot again as a different customer, we will not be able to. As you can see, November 12th is no longer available. And this is a common confusion where people approach us with service settings saying they have a maximum capacity of 15 and only 10 people booked. So the first thing you need to do to troubleshoot is access features and integrations, scroll down, find group booking, click on setup and make sure that this slider is enabled if you want multiple different customers to book the same appointment. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this video. I hope this walkthrough gave you some solid insight into how group booking can be used in Traft. Whether you're just starting out or looking to level up your scheduling, this tool can really make a difference. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you're notified about all upcoming content coming from this channel. Until next time, happy scheduling guys. My name is Alexander and I'll see you in the next video.